We bought our Keystones printer in the summer of 2019 and did not go nowhere during the COVID year all through 2020. So our black tank flush was only used twice. On the third try, it had a heck of a leak. So I assumed it was falling apart or broke inside, something wrong with the check valve or something. So after some research, I went with the Watts LF288A, which is right here. You can see it better. I bought it on Amazon. 173 five-star reviews. That's pretty good reviews. It is a lot of brass. This weighs hardly nothing. This just weighs an ounce or a couple of ounces at the most, I think. Very light work. This is substantial. A lot of brass here. And you need half-inch nipples to go on to it also. I'll show you those. But this is what I went back with. I was looking at this. I want to show you what I found. This is the OEM product. It is a B&B &B Model 571. 125 PSI, half inch for RV use only. This side up. Your water goes into it from the black tank flush from the outside. Goes up in it and comes out here. and drops down to your black tank. This is to be mounted at least 6 inches above your highest point of the entire water system. You got full instructions that come with this that, that explain why you need to do that. So I shook this. I had a stink bug in it. Bits and pieces of him, a couple of legs come out. There's one there. The daggone stink bug got in him. We get them real bad this time of year. And he must have got into the hole on the open here. He got up in here and somehow was going for the going for something. But it might very well work fine if I assemble it and put it back together, but I'm not going to do it. I just wanted to show you that's probably what made mine fail. He looks like he's been mashed right there against the against the spring or the ball. I can't tell which. But you can see the white plunger. And when you hook up your black tank hose from the outside, it pushes this up so the water doesn't go to the atmosphere and spray all over your RV. And it flows up here, lifting the check valve, and then allowing water to flow on down here. And then right here, it makes an immediate 90 degree turn, or mine does anyway straight down to the black tank, and that's where you get your power flush. So let's go out and I'll show you what the install looks like on this. This is my docking system, and with mine, the way this unit is set up, it's a 2019 Sprinter Limited by Keystone. There's the tank flush. It's right here. You have to manually thread your hose onto it, turn it on at the water spigot, and flush your tank. And the last time I did it, I was watching it go out. I have a transparent uh, discharge on my RhinoFlex. Water started dripping out there in a steady stream, and right where that, right where that belly is, right about in here, water is streaming out. The leak was that bad, and I'll show you where the leak is inside the camper. But that's got a pretty good filter in it right there, the screen, and you can see it's already collected some debris. So all you do is just swing him up and look in there with the flashlight. You could immediately see water running. And it was running down from that vertical blue hose. It's running straight up. And water was running all over there big time. So I quickly shut it off and ended the black tank flush. Let's go upstairs and I'll show you what the Watts number 288 valve setup looks like. So when you look in the bathroom, I kind of started to panic because I thought I was going to have to cut a hole. Cut a hole in there or take this panel out. It's because it was behind this wall. And the reason I couldn't see it is my wife had towels. This was a solid wall of towels and I couldn't see nothing. I thought, well, there must not be anything there. So when I pushed the towels back, I had this dandy little plate here, access plate. It's right behind there, four screws. Okay, the Watts. Now with, with the Watts unit, you have to add the half inch nipples. Once you do that, you're gonna be good to go. Well, we've already hooked up the black tank and did a test on it, and she's bone dry, so I think we're going to be pleased with it. As long as I can keep the stink bugs out, because they're going to have access to this open chamber right up through there. There's that blue line vertical I was telling you about. Blue pecs right there, and then it's white going down. I kind of like the way they color-coded that. Okay, on the OEM vacuum breaker, I went ahead and popped off the top. It just took a little twist to pop it off. And you can see where that is open to the uh, outside environment. And you can see how a bucket got in there. There's a little plunger. He blocked that valve from coming up and sealing off. 
So he got in there, then he got into the discharge, and that's why I was able to shake him out here. You can see where he got mashed in there on a sh some kind of a, when the valve tried to close, it kind of pinched him or something. Okay, we did a butcher job on it here, but uh, we pried it out, got the valve, and sure enough, there's, as expected, there's a soft black gasket right on top of the valve that lifts up and seals off. And our stink bug, he got in on top, which is open to the outside, and he was trying to get some heat, some water, or whatever, and he got pinched in there. You can see the black marker, how it creased him. I'd say it was it would have worked fine had that bug have stayed out. I went ahead and put a screen mesh around it using a zip tie. That way it can still breathe around here where it's going to atmosphere. And it should keep out large bugs anyway. But anytime you're doing the black tank flush, it's a good idea when you turn the water on at your spigot on your supply and you know you got water going to the black tank, it's a good idea to stand back and take a look. And if you have an access port like I do here, all I got to do is stick my head in here and check out that blue hose going vertical right there. As long as that's staying dry, I'm in good shape. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section. But thanks for watching and travel safe out there.